Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and we do not have time to talk because this place is filling up with water, and it will kill us. And I'm hoping I'll be able to stick the landing. Oh my gosh. Wow. The camera angle there was awful. Wow. Let's try that again and try to deal with that awful, awful camera angle. Who is that ghost that keeps showing up? Because I assumed it was Rasputin's dad. There we go. There we go. Hello. Nope. Nope. Oh. Okay, now where do I go from here? No, son of... Uh, nope. Oh my gosh. Mmm. All right, let's try Maybe to hold on. Time practicing your acrobatics and less time reading those comic books. You'll be up here by now. Can I use the shield wall? I cannot use the shield wall on the tightrope. Why is that whatever that is? Oh. Um, I'm hoping this is the way forward. Master Rasputin. And there goes a dream fluff. With any luck... Um... Can I jump there? Ah, son of a... Get up. Faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Ah. Maybe I can jump away. I can't double jump off of that. Okay. Ah. So that one, he only does overhead. This one, I thought he switched it up.
Okay, I cannot jump onto that platform. And this one, he just throws it over your head, which is nice and easy. No. Oh my, oh jeez. Uh, I feel like this requires way more precision than, than it should. Like, I would say, like, maybe I could say because maybe I'm a, not as experienced of, of a player, but I just think the controls are bad. They just feel bad. And I wonder if also part of this is the idea, like, maybe the test, like, in testing, the testers got really good at the game. Similar to, say, um, how, like, uh, Battletoads is only as difficult as it is. Um, I, I probably should have hovered for that one. But it is very unclear as to what I'm supposed to do there. And I feel as though this game doesn't really do a very good job of adequately um, enforcing its gameplay ideas uh, and uh, notions. Oh my gosh. I never liked playing catch with you just now. Nope. I'm pretty sure this is not... Ah, son of a... How I'm supposed to do this. But I don't necessarily understand... ...how I'm supposed to do this. So I'm just kind of making stuff up and hoping it works. Oh, and it hits you while it's passing over your head. Great. Let's just reload a save so that we can hold on to our dream fog. We haven't really made any progress, so I'm just gonna cut to when I'm back here. All right, let's try this again. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. All right, I think it did. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm high enough. Ah, thank goodness! Thankfully, the checkpoint updated, and I was able to proceed. I don't know what I was actually supposed to do in order to correctly go through that section. Um, OK. 
Okay. Oh. Okay, you just didn't grab onto the ladder? Was I supposed to grab onto the other side of the ladder? Hey, son, catch! Think fast! There you go! Incoming! <laughs> little help? Yes, I would but like a little help. Or maybe I just didn't... It feels like I can't actually jump over all of those. Nope. Ah, uh, okay. This is an interesting twist on using the game mechanics to create something. Uh, different. To create a different mode of transportation. Because, according to the game mechanics, I'm still sliding down the ladder. Dad, I made it! You cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat! You're no son of mine! Somebody's going to get grounded! Make that ground! <laughs> okay, this seems problematic. Alright, let's save our game. So we hopefully don't have to play that previous section ever again. Uh, switch in telekinesis. Good. Pretty good. Yes, there we go. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. That was a much, much clearer boss fight. I was wondering why his dad was depicted as like a zombie. What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy cheating. Or is that basically his misrepresentation of his dad? How I look in your mind. Man, do I hate psychics. And see happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you. And to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Sam, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. <laughs> I have a lot more hair than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Okay. Unweave? Detangle? Never. I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am. And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> 
This is your mind. So you are the strong one here. Okay. Now if I remember correctly from the GameStop uh, explanation that played on the video every uh, hour or so, like, I get to be playing as Big Raz in order to fight him. What are some important abilities? Probably shield. Maybe telekinesis. No, nothing. Yeah, no. Um, it would be nice if the telekinesis ability acted a little bit faster. Oh, all right. Come here, little bunny. Or am I basically just kind of holding out until I'm able to uh, become gigantic again? In which case, the only ability I need is shield. Which makes me kind of wonder why they needed uh, an explanation how to beat this particular boss. Was that it? Uh, uh, bunnies. No. No meat. Shh, no more. No more meat. Look. Hmm. I'm okay with that because that means I don't have a boss fight to attempt at mu on multiple occasions, hey, but... me save the bunnies. And for talking to my dad. Uh... No problem, little Oli. Bye-bye! Wave goodbye, Mr. Bun! <laughs> Where's he going? We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this... lily person. Hey! <laughs> And so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. This and he got to keep his made. job? <laughs> this camp is all about education, and I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. But we can give him this to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, 
We do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? <gasps> I appreciate the fact that the Psychonauts just have a trademark sweater. Okay, let's be perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. There's I so much making out we can do. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. We still have to make out. Um, well... Bye. And also, if they move, if his family moves around a lot, in theory, they'll eventually Children, end up. It's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. On the coast. <laughs> no, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad. Sir, can you teleport? Wait, this her dad is the grand. Huh? What? Hey, hey, what, what are uh, the leader of the Psychonauts? Guess we're taking the jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. Well, also, actually, before I even say anything, really, the fact that the credits begins with the cast is an interesting choice. I don't think you really see it that often. Usually you'd see, like, the director, producer, but, like, the cast being first and foremost is interesting. Um, so that was Psychonauts 1. Uh, now I'm ready to go on to Psychonauts 2. Probably not right away. Because, like, even though I do and I did enjoy the world of Psychonauts, the story, the style. Um, mechanically, it felt very awkward and sluggish. Uh, the platforming, the combats, the psychic abilities. One thing that I'm hoping for the sequel, aside from... Like, not, not not necessarily even, like, without even talking about the platforming and the combat. Um, I feel as though this game, like, the way that it, uh, it gave you powers and abilities, um, was relatively problematic. Um, and it was based entirely on, on the fact that this game focuses a lot on, um, ec um, not exploration, um, experimentation is the word I want to use. Uh, the game wants you, it gives you an ability and it wants you to try it out and figure out how it works yourself. Um, which, considering how abstract everything can be, sometimes gets very tricky as to understanding what you're actually expected to do. Like when you're supposed to uh, look through the mind of the crows, that puzzle in the garden there was both ex abstract and also requiring a lot of experimentation. Um, a lot of moving around from a very specific viewpoint and trying to figure out 
what did what. What, Rather than consider uh, another game developer uh, that does the complete opposite of this. And that is um, Twisted Pixel. Twisted Pixel has their own variety of platformers, most notably like Explosion Man, Miss Explosion Man. Um, but these ideas are also pertain to other games they make, such as uh, Comic Jumper and uh, Gunstringer, and is also one of the reasons why uh, Loco Cycle isn't particularly good. Uh, like Twisted Pixel has a particular method where they will give you an element of gameplay mechanic. Like let's say in Explosion Man. Whenever you ex whenever you explode next to a fat scientist, you get launched into the air. And they show you that mechanic by itself, and then they incorporate that mechanic with other things. With other mechanics they had previously, previously explained. Whereas, I think if you look at Tim Schafer's uh, career as a developer, a lot of his games focus on the idea of collecting things and experimenting. I remember one particular puzzle in Full Throttle that had confused me. Um, there was a minefield that was separating you from meeting up with this biker girl you had met. Uh, and you wanted to get to her because you needed an ally in regards to taking down the villain of the game. And all the only item I had was um, this kind of like jack-in-the-box uh, rabbit that you would uh, stir up uh, and it would walk forward by itself. And I did not realize that essentially this, the way to solve that puzzle is you had to just repeatedly use that item through the minefield so that the rabbits cleared the minefield for you because I never bothered trying it out. And I feel as though that's, all, that's part of... Um, the gameplay loop for Tim Schafer is the experimentation and the trying things out, see what works. Rather than necessarily um, the game telling you, you use this with this. And then combining those elements to create a grander, a more elaborate uh, puzzle in order to explore. Not to mention the fact that you also kind of get the powers in a semi-random, in a semi-random uh, order. Uh, in that you have powers that you get just through the storyline, but then you also have powers that you get through ranking up. And eventually you need all of the powers you in the game. You need, like, Incinerate you get by ranking up. Um, whereas Levitate you get for just doing the storyline. Um, but Incinerate is never actually shown in a plot context. You just have to eventually try it out when it seems like it would work. And sometimes, like, the way that the interactivity of the world doesn't quite work very well. Um, like, there's a part in this game where I had to take a coin out of a fireplace uh, to pay off the soldiers of Fred Bonaparte. And I tried using telepathy, but I had not targeted it. Or at the very least, I must not have targeted the coin properly. Um, because I wasn't at the right angle to target it. But the fact that the targeting is as finicky as it is, because everything is relatively specific um, in regards to how you do things in this game, uh, there is not really much room for error. And I think another bigger thing in regards to why the combat doesn't necessarily work as well is because, one, you have only a very small set of moves. Like, consider a game like Mario. Like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine even. Um, they don't have very much of an emphasis on combat. Enemies are there, but you can much, very often just ignore them. Whereas this game you can't, so you only have a very specific amount of moves in order to take them down. And enemies hit you for a lot of help, but you recover very little from it.
that said, I'm still definitely interested in playing Psychonauts 2. This, this is the thing with video game um, development that uh, is a little, I think, a little bit more interesting in regards to games than movies and other stories, is because sequels in games tend to improve over their predecessors. Like, a lot of the complaints that I've just said about Psychonauts 1, about how it has a great story, but the combat is sluggish, the abilities are awkward to use, um, are things that I can very easily direct towards Mass Effect 1, towards Dragon Age 1. But both of those games spawned uh, incredible series. Uh, Mass Effect 2 uh, and Mass Effect 3, we'll not even talk about the ending to that. Um, but the fact that those games went on to spawn those series and refine from that starting point. Uh, like, I've always enjoyed Max Payne 2 over Max Payne 1 because it did refine the gameplay. It emphasized different abilities of your bullet time so that it wasn't just third-person shooter, but you could also slow down things a bit. So that's something that I'm hoping for in regards to Psychonauts 2, is that it refines things, it makes uh, the powers a little bit more useful, so that you're not constantly switching uh, out um, eight abilities from a total of three buttons. Which is also kind of another thing that hampered experimentation. Like, if you have only three abilities to choose from to have on your person, and you had to constantly swap them out, that meant that you most likely only had the abilities that you were expecting to use for combat and for movement and any abilities that were required for puzzles had to kind of go on the back burner because they weren't necessarily as constantly useful as things like Marksman, Shield, and Levitate. So that gave less practice for actually using those abilities. So that's, I think, the main thing that I'm hoping for with Psychonauts 2, is that Psychonauts 2 takes um, the abilities that it wants to offer you and it makes them more useful uh, for more situations, or it, it uh, presents its uh, controller in such a fashion that you always have access to more abilities uh, at any given time. In the meantime though, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.